that was uh, really interesting. Thank you, Christina. Um, and from a more local perspective, uh, next up with a kind of Canadian ebook initiatives we're watching, uh, we do have uh, Diana Davidson, director of uh, Public Library Services Branch, uh, the Alberta. Um, she is an, also an author and is excited to share Alberta's project to get local content into public libraries through the um, Book Publishers Association of Alberta. So she's going to share about a project they're doing just across the little mountain range. So <laughs> thank you guys. that we're kind of just at the beginning of, or maybe about, uh, maybe about halfway through in terms of the administration. Um, but in, in my branch, at the Public Library Service Branch, uh, we are based in municipal affairs. In Alberta, library service is at the first level of municipal service. And then we also have seven regional library systems, and then we have our branch. And the purpose of the work at the branch is to uh, initiate projects that inspire or address um, equity. So we provide direct operating grant funding, uh, and that's the majority of our budget, to 235 library boards. But we also provide support in the form of interlibrary loan, software and delivery, uh, supernet connectivity for all of our public library branches across Alberta, so over 300. We also work really closely with BC Libraries Cooperative because we provide NELS, the National Network of Equitable Library Service for all of our libraries. And we have recently uh, begun a, a bit of a policy shift and we're providing e-content. And this project has actually emerged out of some consultation that we've done with our libraries around e-content. So in 2013, we were directed uh, by our minister to take on more of a role in providing e-content in, in the spirit of addressing some inequities between large urban libraries and many of our small rural libraries. We currently provide approximately a million dollars in funding towards four products, uh, Hoopla, Zinio, Mango Language Learning Software, as well as PressReader. And those products were chosen because they met some of the requests that we heard through consultation, that our smaller libraries in particular needed some electronic resources to help serve new Canadians, so hence PressReader and Mango Language Learning Software. And generally, uh, a lot of our libraries wanted those streaming services and e-magazines that Hoopla and Zinio can provide. But we also heard from our libraries, and of course it's also a uh, provincial uh, priority to be able to share Alberta culture and history. And many of our libraries wanted to know how they could do that better, especially in our rural centers. So we decided that we would develop an ebook project to provide books about Alberta, about Alberta history, books produced in Alberta, and we wanted to do that as e-content. We decided that the best course of action would be to consult with the Book Publishers Association of Alberta. They are a nonprofit consortium. They represent 25 members, and they represent uh, presses that are based in Alberta and that are cross-sectoral. So, for example, Athabasca University Press, U of A, University of Alberta Press, University of Calgary Press, Banff Centre Press, but also um, literary and popular fiction presses such as Freehand Books, which you may be familiar with, Broadview, Frontenac House, Rocky Mountain Books, and Lone Pine Publishing, which is one of the only children's literature publishing uh, organizations left in Alberta. So we were consulting with them about how best to do this project and realized that it would be through partnership with them. So we have entered a grant agreement with the Book Publishers Association of Alberta and we are going to acquire content through that partnership. So all 25 of their members have agreed and will be providing their content to our public libraries. 
Now, of course, we need a platform to be able to do that. And currently, we are just in the very final stages. I was hoping it would be all squared away so I could share with you who our successful vendor is. But we entered into an RFP a few months ago and um, received some very interesting proposals. And we are going to acquire a commercially available platform that will then be uh, used to launch all of this content. And we are going to start that implementation in the next few months with an end date of December 31st, 2016. So we are very, very excited to be able to provide local content, both creative and historical works, as well as to be able to support publishers who are based in Alberta and who have ties to the province. Um, not just the larger institutions, but some of these very small presses who may not be able to get their work out to libraries in that traditional model. So we're very, very excited about the possibilities with this project. Our minister announced it and shared it with our library community at the end of April. We actually, um, just because of some budgeting constraints, we have split the project, so we paid out the grant with the book publishers this or last fiscal year, and then of course we'll be paying for the platform this fiscal year. So that was one kind of stumbling block that we had to work through, but, uh, but I think that we came up with a solution. And, and the partnership is, um, it's a very positive partnership, and it, it addressed a challenge that initially we intended that the platform vendor would acquire the ebooks from the Alberta publishers for resale to PLSB, to us via the platform. But this model just proved to be too complicated. There were various mechanisms and internal processes, so legal trade agreements, procurement, as well as the RFP process, that demonstrated that um, that kind of project would not fit that criteria. And so entering into a grant agreement with the Book Publishers Association themselves seemed to be the best solution. That's really a, a summary of where we're at with the project right now. I'm happy to answer any questions that you may have. Yes? How long will the books that you uh, for license from the, from the other publishers be available? Oh yes, sorry, I should have mentioned that. So we went with a model of 50 circulations. And this is, you know, some of this material could be popular, but some of it's very specific, Alberta historical materials, academic materials, <coughs> university press. So we're going to see if that model works and if it's sustainable. And then we may have to provide some top up for popular works. So it's 50 circulations for Per title. Title. No, the book publishers are handling okay. their books. So our part is funding the grant agreement with the book publishers and paying for the platform that we uh, that we are acquiring through RFP. Yes. Um, are all the publishers currently making their uh, material available in ebook form, or are you helping publishers who don't yet put their stuff into ebook form um, get get it into that format for purchase? So part of that uh, grant funding can be used by the book publishers to help with digitization. Okay. But a lot of the bigger public publication or publishers that are members of um, the PAA already digitize. Yes. Are you using a web book for user model? Well, it we have to work through that because some of the publishers have different arrangements, so we're still ironing that out. Yes, we considered that, and that's why we're working with the Book Publishers Association. So that's where the partnership comes in. So they're um, making those decisions? Well, it's based on their membership. Okay. Right? They have 25 members. So those are the works that we are licensing. But you're licensing all of their works, regardless mm -hmm. of what the topics are. So it's really it's based on the publisher, not the topic. Of the yes. Book. Okay. Thank you. Yes. We're not getting into that level of detail. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes.
Yes, our intent that is this. Can you uh, repeat that question? Oh, sorry. The question, um, what is the intent of the branch going forward once the 50 circulation runs out, once new titles are added every season? And yes, we, it's an ongoing project. It has a, it has a line in our budget. We just need to see, um, because the grant was, you know, ostensibly one-time funding because it was a particular amount from a certain fiscal year, we need to see how far that will go in terms of circulation and what the uptake is, what the interest is, and uh, then we'll adjust the funding accordingly. Yes. Yeah, uh, the platform will be a shared central resource, but people will have to have a local municipal library card in order to access it. So there won't be a way to pull those records into Alberta catalog to create that seamless experience? Well, we have a union catalog in Alberta through the Alberta Library, so. Mm -hmm. And I should mention as well, um, as part of the agreement, all of these titles from the Alberta, or from the Book Publishers Association of Alberta, will be made available in NELS in accessible format. Any other questions? Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.